Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. Today we take on the challenge of our first, our first uh, big delivery, our first real big delivery of Alaska. And I think this is probably one of the more challenging ones as well. So apprehensive about doing it because it's hard mode and everything goes wrong in hard mode, but hopeful of getting it out of the way. Let's check this is all on, all on. Uh, as I said at the end of the last episode, it has been, I did say it would be, it has been a week since our last session. Almost to the hour, so I shouldn't be out of practice, so been, been playing plenty of snow on the console in between. Although we are somewhere entirely different there. It's not like we're practicing Alaska. But we have got the Longhorn. And we are off to pick up one of those big boy trailers. I haven't got the job set actually. So now we're out of the mud. Sort of. It's probably... Uh, let's get our job set up so you guys can see what it is we're doing. For any that have just hopped along. Turn the engine off while we faff about. Uh, we are... On the float and drill, that's what we're doing. So we have got to get the uh, oil rig semi-trailer, which is here, which apparently we haven't located yet, but we have. It's there. And um, we've got to bring it along around here, up and round and down, and just deliver it to the port. Nice and easy. It looks so simple. Sometimes this can go all kinds of wrong. We're going to do our best. We are going to do our best and we are going to be successful. We're going to try and take pretty much the same route that we took going through with the um, drill parts and when we brought the oil down here. So we know where we want to go. It's just whether or not <laughs> we'll be able to go that way. Oh dear. Always seem to be so many variables. Things always seem to go so wrong. Confidence is what we need, some confidence. On my uh, on my console site, we talk about it a lot now. I went from never talking about it, talking about it all the time. Just on it a lot at the moment. Now, I've been busy tackling um, Kola Peninsula. And I, I'm not going to lie, on normal, just on normal mode, that has been kicking my butt. And that's without having to worry about fuel. Uh, so how, how we'll do when we ever get there? In uh, in hard mode, I really don't know, but I think I'm definitely gonna go somewhere else first <laughs> once we've finished um, the uh, the base game next. I don't think we'll jump straight to Killer. I think we'll go somewhere else first, just to give myself a slight reprieve. I have to remember this isn't where I want to go. When I come back with the trailer, we want to go the other side of these trees. So not to follow my tracks. Maybe we want to go through that gap with the big trailer. But I hope you are all well. Thank you very back. Thank you very back. Thank you very much for coming back and joining us on this. I'm really enjoying uh, getting back into SnowRunner. It's pretty much the only game I'm playing at the moment. PC and console is ex <laughs> exclusive. To, uh, to Snow Runner. Just, just loving it. Just loving it. And with everything that happened on the YouTube channel, I've just been really disheartened. Um, so, I think I said this before. So, I've not even really been at my PC much. So, I thought if I'm going to do it, I'm just going to play the game that I'm loving the most at the moment. And that is this. I think I said I was only going to put out one or two a week. But I think, I think there's sort of three I've scheduled it because we're quite, quite a way ahead, actually. I'm. Uh, recording this on the uh, 15th of October and I should imagine it's going to come out around about 17th, 18th of November. That's how far ahead I am. So we might get more of them than I initially said earlier. We will, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. I just you know, I really want to progress as we all know. I really want to progress. But if I have to start a brand new YouTube channel and start a brand new series then... <laughs> 
I, in, in that other sense, I don't want to be too far ahead. Because <laughs> i got to start again. Oh dear. Now I'm just going to smash it if we have to start again. Just. <laughs> uh, I'm going to live in SnowRunner. ourselves in position so yeah we've got to pull this big boy it is a beast an absolute beast what do you guys used to do this job with do you use the um, very long horn or do you come down here with like the p16 or something else what is your chosen tool Okay, let's try and get that for a screenshot. We'll hold still. We'll zoom in a little bit. We'll do what we can. That'll be our thumbnail, probably. There we go. Right. Let's get out of here. Just want to have some really productive days. I love Alaska. Okay. Well, I can't even words out. I love Alaska. I think this is a great map. It's not overly challenging normally. <laughs> Disclaimer: normally, normally not overly challenging. It's a fun one, and you got a few of these big jobs like this. I think we've got a total of like four large trailers to pull um, through the through the tough terrain. But it's it's pretty it's a pretty fun one. I've always enjoyed it. So I don't want to get through it because I don't like it. I just want to get, you know, I just want to get through it. Sorry about my constant camera angle twitching as well. I can't help it. I like to try and sort of see all the bits, <laughs> see all the things everywhere. pump the clutch a little bit, see if we can gain a little extra momentum with it. Sometimes you can, not always, so we want to try and go as wide as we can. Keep it coming. So there's a little winch pull. That's right, get them out of the way as well. This is the easy bit. It's well, the mud should be easy as well, because we're going to stick to the right, and we, we know what we've got to do is, if you come at this and you don't know about that mud and how brutal it is, I guess that's when the problems come. If you're a, like a first-time visitor and you don't know how treacherous that, <laughs> that southern edge is, then I guess it's when it's hard. When you've fallen victim to it so many times because you've wanted to try and... Uh, bring it that way. When you've fallen victim enough times, you, you soon learn where the actual route is. As is often the case with Snow Runner, the real route is often not the paved route, or the tracked route, or the road. Why is that not just connecting to that? There we go. Let's grab that. There we are. Lovely, lovely. And again, this is sometimes the only place where you might have an issue. Like so. This is what 
ourselves somewhere to get some traction. Probably have to pull ourselves right across, I think. The winch is very long. I should have put the long winch on. Just have a little security anchor there as well. Cola Peninsula has been reteaching me <laughs> the uh, security anchor. Well, been driving around. Oh dear, that place is brutal. I just think to myself, if I struggle with um, KB, <laughs> what am I going to do in a mall? And how am I ever going to survive in hard mode? Winch on here feels super small. It's just expensive to put the big winch on, that's the trouble. And again, it comes down to that thing of um, whereas I'm playing on two different modes at the same time, two different saves, I go could buy whatever I want, do whatever I want on my normal mode one. I got loads of money because I'm not worried about fuel and stuff, and I can reset to the to the garage out of convenience more than anything. Whereas here just the tools to get the job done are, you know, <laughs> don't say expensive, they're a, they're a luxury, not a necessity. low clearance and because it's heavy it just just lifts the longhorn up as soon as it starts to snag on anything so we just lose all traction all momentum is gone There we go. Yep, still yet to to know of anyone that takes that route. One day I might. I've tried to come up from there, and I just sort of got myself stuck between <laughs> literally a rock and a hard place. I wasn't committed to being close to the inside island, and I wasn't committed to being on the outside island, and I just, just sunk straight away. Could not get out. Definitely needed the extended winch, I think. Again, I feel like I'm bogging down more here than I ever did. In any other sort of regular playthrough, which is, you know, always confusing. Because I swear that's not supposed to be a thing. Got to be careful, we end up pulling ourselves out into the deep. Pure winch job. We are not moving, not moving without the winch. Love it. Right. Just 
Let's bring us round a little bit. Oh, that's a deep bit as well. Now a tree in front. Apologies to those that don't like the winch action, but if you can do it another way, by all means let me know. Now, something that I don't think I've ever seen anyone else do is what I do, what I do here. I've watched quite a few people play SnowRunner, so quite a few people do this particular delivery, and everyone goes obviously down the track and then struggles with the turn. I find this to be so much easier. Normally, I'll get stuck or something bad will happen. But, yeah. This is your route, people. The amount of people I've seen try and take that tight turn and get stuck on the barrier over there or get stuck on this post or something, it's just mad. The game gives you that nice big turn and circle. Use it. So yeah, Buckwell's top tip: take it wide. <laughs> and like I say, to me, usually, usually this is the harder of all the big deliveries. I think some of the other ones are just a bit. But the chore is that it's longer and you've got to go through multiple maps and you've got to make sure you've um, built your bridges, cleared your rocks, done everything you can to make it the quickest, easiest route. But other than that, I think this is the one. gives it to you like, so early straight off the bat like this is one so if you haven't gone through and you haven't found the Derry Longhorn like, the only other truck that probably have a chance of doing it is your P16 but you can't put chains on it and it's not all wheel dry <laughs> That must be a right chill. And I know I know that this Derry Longhorn isn't an overly popular truck these days. I don't think it ever was when it came out. It's a bit slow, it struggles uphill, it's probably a bit fuel thirsty. But I tell you, it's one of those ones that I, I I'm coming to realise that I like the lesser trucks. I like making my life hard in this game. I like the lesser trucks. Like another truck that I enjoy using is the uh, when we get to Russia and the Eurasia maps is the, the Step 310E. I just think that's like the Russian equivalent of the Fleet Star. Oh, I've got to get it right in, have I? I thought I just... There we go. I was delivering it, delivering it. Don't get a lot for that either. Like three grand. That's that's not a big payout. But that is the first of our big drill pieces done. I think there's um, the rubbish parts. That's what it is. Annoyingly, we can't fit that on. I'd like to pull that trailer out of there, but we need to have a different um, saddle. Right, so next jobs that are now open. We have mountain delivery, which is uh, four oil barrels going to the service hub in Mountain River. If we have a look at um, Mountain River. 
So that's just going there. So that's I'm just going to mark that up for now. So that's uh, pretty doable. Um, we've got service hub reactivation in Pedro Bay, um, concrete blocks and consumables. Let me get the concrete blocks and consumables from here anyway and take through. So that one can probably wait a little bit. Then we've got uh, White Valley. White Valley. This polar base, wood planks and fuel, which can be done from within here. Get fuel from there, we get wood planks from there. I think we can get fuel from there as well. Get things going there. Top of the world. Uh, consumable fuel. I don't think we can get consumables from here. Sawmill. Oh, you get them from the service hub? Yeah. Okay. So that's another. Um, cement. And consumables. We get cement from down here. I think you get cement from the warehouse as well. Which is probably an easier pickup than down there. And timber. And then far, far away, which is timber again. So, it looks like we are heading into Mountain River. Uh, oh, oh, that's here anyway, Bricks in the River. Because all that's left are these um, time things that I keep falling over on. So, we're going <laughs> to leave them for a hot minute. And, um, yeah, we shall... Uh, jump to something with a flatbed a semi flatbed or something I think uh, let's just maybe take this back as well it's a real shame I cannot grab that fuel trailer don't forget to turn my engine off that whole time so I burn and fuel probably right Okay, we're gonna, we'll bring the the Derry Longhorn through with us because we're going to need that uh, once we get into uh, White Valley and doing stuff, doing stuff in the valleys. This might be, because the Royal can get a bit bouncy and a bit tippy, this might be where <laughs> our next truck comes through, maybe. Might be time for the, for the Western Star to turn up. I don't, if, I'm, if I'm careful, if I'm careful, we might be alright. I'm going to put a semi-trailer on the Royal. I think I should imagine it's already got one, hasn't it? So, yeah, semi trailer on the Royal with a crane. Might be alright. Uh, can you stay there for now? You can stay here for now. Ooh. I'm trying to think what jobs we're going to have to come and do later. You'll have pickups from here, but I'm putting my fuel there because we're always going to come around. Whenever we come in with Mount River or White Valley, we'll come around that way. Anywhere else when we come through, we'll probably have fuel near their gateways. We'll make sure we're fueled up. We have to come this way. It's then the return. Got that down there. I'm just trying to be trying to be better than what I have been in the past, really. I'm 
trying to think where has fuel and where it doesn't. I think I'm going to bring it with me. I'm going to bring it with me. Why wouldn't you connect to the bit you know I want? Oh. Because it's not offering it up. Thank you. Maybe actually I might even bring this how much fuel is in here? Quite a bit. I might bring this through. Yeah, I might take this through with us actually. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna park this up. But that interest there's quite a few little trailers about so we can like, top this up and have this with fuel on. Or fuel in this. We put all the, we could scoop up all the fuel and put it in here, so it's easier for me to move about and manage when we're in um, Mountain River. That might be what we do. I think the load star is well fueled, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Ooh. It is now. Yeah, we, we soon we soon run run out, don't we? We soon run out. Oh, do I go get that? The trailer. Is that what I do? It's so torn in what I'm gonna do all the time. We're not close enough, but that's right, I think that's fine. Right. We'll take this through into the mountain river. We'll take this through. Ooh. Do we do this one? Is this what we do? We feel the well, maintenance trailer is full. Do I pull the maintenance trailer through? this in here and then just put it out of the way I know a lot of faffing I think that's what I'm going to go for and do that Stick this trailer out of the way so I don't think I need it. If I do, I can, I don't know, do something with it. Turned this around not that long ago to make sure it faced the right way, it's faced that way as well. But yeah, let's go get this ready. Let's go get this ready. Big job and then preparations because we've got what was that like four. Delivery jobs um, just within uh, Mountain River to do, which are a lot of back and forth. In. So we've got, I think we've got like three, two or three small fuel trailers in there. We've got a 1800 or 2000 litre fuel trailer in there. There are two gas stations. 
it's just going to be tempting. Um, I'll probably park this at one of the gas stations because it's sort of on the route where I'll go past quite a bit. That'll be the thinking there. Just um, see if we can go a bit quicker. Not in high gear, we won't, but in regular. I thought I was going <laughs> to go wide to avoid the stones and then have such a poor turn and so I got to smack into, smack into the rock face trying to prevent tyre and, and suspension damage and then get myself some engine damage instead but we did alright, we did alright had control Control that though, did I? That was well over shot. Quite proper, mate. I'm not sure if we're going to pull the load star back through with us as well. Could do that. It's just a good mobile fuel trailer and, you know, repair parts. A bit like this. It's not as mobile this one. Oh, there's our suspension damage off the tiny rocks. Always the tiniest of rocks. Freeze, what's this about? Didn't like that. Oh no, didn't like that at all. Right. Let's put you there. Let's then we go with the Royale. We'll find an hunky dory on that one. Yeah, I think I will pull. Try and pull the load star through with us as well best I can. Probably end up flipping it and rolling it. Because I know, I think I know anyway, I know I'm going to want it when I get to White Valley again. I may even want it in Hedro. The fact that because we've got the uh, the modded one and we can stick a, a regular side trailer on the back, sort of Just makes it of great use to us. on me, I think. There we go, right. 
So we go. Oh no no no! Well, actually, not do that. Yeah, so I can then go down and get my bits, and then come back up. That's fine. Yeah, all good. I think I'll probably prefer that route anyway. Not sure what's going on to cause these freezers. <laughs> probably because my PC ain't been turned on for seven days. That'll be what it is. Still warming up. Hopefully everything's recording all right and sounding all right. There was like a massive updates as well, so including game update. A few bug fixes and whatnot have been done recently. That's another great thing about this game. Like four years old and they're still supporting it like it's brand new, constantly fixing, patching, sorting things out. here. Oops, just came around fine with us. I'm so bad at pulling <laughs> trucks along behind me and trailers. I always roll them. That's why we don't do a lot of tandem runs. Just safer for me to do <laughs> singles. Do more singles rather than trying to pull a trailer with another load behind. I always mess it up. you there for now. We'll, um, we'll hook back up later. Hopefully. That's it. No diff. I should imagine there's a, a modded version that has the diff lock and probably um, a best center of uh, mass, so it's not so tippy. But it's, 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 you've got to have, like, because it's, it's, a, it's a good truck, but its flaws just make it dangerous. And I like that there is no, no truck that's perfect to everything and great to everything, like, base game-wise, anyway. I like that. I like that there's always a little trade-off for something, even on the best trucks, that there's a little trade-off for something. 
whether it just be uh, ground clearance, whether it be fuel consumption or speed, or there's always, or you know, you can have an absolute monster of a truck, but then it's maybe only got six or seven um, add ons and configurations, so it can't do everything. You have to use other vehicles. I like that there's always that trade off. Then you've got obviously the Royal, super versatile truck. You know, can can do and excuse me, it's good for a lot of jobs. But she will roll over on you. She is bouncy, and um, has no diff lock. Like the big, um, the big Kolov trucks, often referred to as the Kolov brothers. Like they are absolute machines at getting through stuff and doing things. But you can only fit a high saddle on it. And that's it. So you always have to have, a, you know, especially if you're doing it on hard mode, but then you need a truck. If you want to use them for other cargoes or cargoes other than the specialist trailers. Which is sort of what their their bread and butter is, especially this trailer. So if you want to use them for something else, and you're on maybe a hard mode or whatever, then you need a truck to, to be there to support for for craning and you know loading up and doing stuff. You know they're limited on the types of things they can do and where they can go because they're all about the big, powerful things. A family of trucks that I enjoy are the the Western Stars, the Wolfpack Western Stars, and the uh, the X forty nine. Like they have their limitations. I mean, when they first came out, I don't think they even had cranes. Um, but their fuel tanks are you know, considered a little bit small for the for the truck, to, especially because they they come under heavy truck, I believe, and. They're not really heavy trucks. They're somewhere more like between highway and heavy duty. I think because Western Star classify them as heavy trucks, that's what they are. Apart from obviously the highway truck that comes in that pack. So we must remember we are getting oil. I'm not sure if we can get oil and fuel here. I think I went through this before. Speaking of loading up, we must remember to do it as well. We shall... No, oh, it's just oil here. Oh, no. Paid for one. Never mind. Right, yeah. It's not the worst thing. We've paid for quite a bit of stuff these days. Buy one, get free free. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Didn't look properly, I thought it was on loading platform already. Four from final.
marvelous. Feels not right, is it? Yeah, burning it up. We took the trailer from here, didn't we? I think that was the one that I just um, emptied out, actually, wasn't it? Way through our fuel. Just knowing that I'm going to be <laughs> worrying about fuel in this game for like a year. At least, and, uh, that worries me in itself. Now, I've got to be careful here. In the past, I have had issues with the Royal taking this turn under load. I know we've, um, I think we've done it already. Come out here with um, full cargoes. But I have had issues in the past. What comes back to me is um, containers, cargo containers. I think I've had an issue with here. I'm tipping them. That'll be where the uh, anxiety filled deja vu just came from. thinking the other day how quick I think I've probably just talked about this but like my brain forgets stuff um, how quick I'd like to try and get through like episode wise how many episodes how many days do I think I can get through Alaska and I'd like to try and set a bit of a personal target of about 40 maybe oh, I'll push it 45 days we went 50 was it 58 in Michigan so I think we do 40, 45, that would show that we're logistically improving as well. I mean, this is a an easier, smaller one. I think 40, 45 would be a nice, nice number. Time me, I've not got a clue how long it will take to get through there, because... Sometimes I can get through parts of that really easily. Sometimes I just struggle beyond the belief. Should we go this way? Let's go this way. We should be able to get the um, load star a little bit easier then. As long as we don't tip 
here on this extremely uneven surface that I now see. Annoyingly, I'm not going to be able to bring well, OBS packed up on me, even after the update. I just said we had a load of updates, even after updating that OBS is packed up on me. Hopefully it'll stay for a while. Uh, yeah, I was saying, unfortunately, we're not be able to pull all three vehicles through. But at least the, uh, the load style will be nearby and easier to get free when I want to bring it and not even just do a, a double jump and bring all three all three all three through and um, yeah just do it as in one jump for you guys though that's what I might do because that's a lot of a lot of load screening So if I in the dairy give me my winch switch on there and then we should come through and I'll see you with all three on the other side I don't think we need to see this, but we should be. <laughs> Look at all that. Um, we should be all here now. Uh, Derry, BM, and uh, Lodestar. So we are going to just quickly top up Derry. We'll top up the Royal. It was down to 70. Look at that. Not great. Okay. Um, put the star out to the side. That'll do you. You shall then take the. We have fixed the bridge, haven't we? Haven't fixed the bridge yet. Oh, I thought we'd done that. Okay. Right. Take the royal. Because perhaps we need the royal to fix the uh, bridge. Have I not triggered that then? I haven't. I haven't How have I not triggered the bridge yet? It's nuts. I have. I haven't. Okay. So, oh, it looks like it's fixed. It's not. It's mental. What does it need? Concrete slabs that were over there. Oh, okay, fine, no worries. Oh, let's put that back on the job we're doing. What was I, what was I doing? Now, delivery, there we go. Well, I thought I'd done that. 
I couldn't have done it, could I? Because I haven't been here for, <laughs> to be here with a with a big truck. Right, yeah. Should have checked the time while I was in the map as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got a few minutes. Got a few minutes, sir. Uh, is it just one? Cement slab or two? So that's uh, two and a half grand for that one. But you must be a real sure foot navigating those mountains ain't easy. Great work. In Dealey. Right, so. Store on the bridge. Ah, so we need one concrete slab. And then we'd have to go get the service spare parts afterwards. Which I think should come from there anyway. So let's go get our... We've got to get... Uh, should we get some service spare parts? I might come in and get them afterwards. Oh, I should have, should have turned round in the... In the forecourt. get to them, can't I? That's not the one with the blockage, is it? No, that's the one with the blockage. Turned off my job. It's the sort of thing we do around here. Still didn't check the time in the map. <laughs> Fuel in the middle of the map, I think there's some fuel near yeah, sort of the old village area where we probably don't want to go much now. I think there's some fuel there. We've got this big trailer that sort of covers us coming in and out of Pedro. Constantly thinking about fuel. We've got a few minutes. We've got a few minutes. I want to try and get back to that 7 7. We've been sort of away from it for a bit. We started off in the 8 8, but I kept changing my times. But it was because we kept getting that block reset roll through thing going on for a while now what I want to do if I can as far as we can complete slab I have to check Honestly, my brain, concrete slab. Oh, there we go. On the platform. Come on, eh? Come nice and quick. Speedy, speedy, Mr. McCready. turn around somewhat now I've seen people come and they they load up lots of different things all at once and 
you know, preemptive deliveries and stuff. That's not really my style. We might find we do a little bit preemptive for Pedro Bay, just because there's a lot of in and out. There's, there's things that need to go into Pedro Bay. Uh, Pedro Bay doesn't really provide a lot, so just taking everything in in one go is maybe a little bit easier for Pedro. I think as long as we, like I've always said, as long as we activate the jobs first, then we can load for them. That's why I like to do the big scout and hit all the jobs, hopefully. So then I can maybe plan a little bit better. I think we get to the top of the hill and then we call it a day. Yeah, and it, it might feel like we didn't do a lot, but we did a big job and um, then we've um, brought the oil through for here and we've you know, got a few vehicles in, we're ready to get stuck in with some stuff. So I don't think we've done, we, I don't think we've done too bad. Naturally, we're going past, we will grab a little. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. There's always comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.